So as we jump into our first topic, um, I want to make sure that the audience is aware that this is going to be very informative. Uh, we may have different uh, debates on opinions and, and how things are perceived, but the guidelines, the principal basis of down payment assistance um, are clear to the guidelines. Uh, each of the actual bonds or grants or uh, government agencies have their own set of guidelines, and some of them may fall follow the normal uh, Fannie Freddie guides, but they may have nuances. Um, so we're here today to talk about all of that stuff from the basics and beyond. Um, so our first question or first topic is what does DPA stand for? And I think the obvious is down payment assistance. There is nothing else to it. Oh, but where's the little dot, 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 dot. dot. and closing cost ah, assistance. That's very true. Um, so, you know, I wonder why they don't add to that because the DPA is, um, how do I say it? I don't want to say misleading, but it's almost short of what it could actually be. Sure. Uh, I think because we're lazy and we like acronyms mm -hmm. in our industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would that be? DPA, A, C, C, A? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then don't forget to CYA. Right. And C. <laughs> but I think there's a misconception of down payment assistance and the keyword being assistance, right? Mm -hmm. Where I think there's a lot of people, the public, think that it's free. Right. And it's not. It's right. assistance. Well, let's let's get into that. So within the realm of down payment assistance type programs, it's important to know who offers these programs. Where do they come from? And I think the root is you're looking at either grand or grant or bond funds that are distributed through government agencies. Um, and I listed quite a few, but essentially it's San Antonio Housing Authority, uh, acronym S-A-H-A, -A, or T-D-H-C-A, Texas Housing... Uh, Texas Department. D Department Texas of Department. Housing and Community Affairs. Um, and they go on and on. Seth, same thing. Uh, but I think a lot of folks believe that they are down payment assistance when they're, in fact, government agencies that help facilitate the down payment assistance. There's also an investor behind that and an originator also tied to it. Um, most mortgage companies offer these types of programs. Now, John, I'd like to pick your brain on the process of why some mortgage companies don't offer them. Matter of fact, let's, let's table that and, and yeah. keep going down the basics road because with the idea of down payment assistance, like YG said, it's not free money. Um, you're either getting it by way of a grant or you're getting it by way of a bond. And knowing the difference between the two, I think, is important for people to know. The grant funds itself don't have to be paid back, whereas the bond funds, they do have to be paid back in some cases. Right. In and some cases. Some in some, some cases. cases. Right. Because you do have programs, which we'll get into later on, on how to read a pricing sheet um, from these down payment assistants. But there are different options within those type programs offered by different government agencies did i kind of nail that i i think you did and and, and, I th and i believe that you know it also kind of starts too with in the home buying journey of working with a mortgage professional that knows of these different right. options that are out there uh and you know not every borrower has is even aware of how much money that they need to bring into closing correct whether it's down whether it's down payment or closing cost or a mixture of both and so uh, from there, you know, you take the borrower's profile and you really just kind of funnel it through a matrix and see which programs can they actually qualify for. And then that loan originator should go through and figure out, okay, which program uh, is best for this customer. Right. And then present them with door number one, door number two, door number three. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of folks out there that perhaps even just assume that they need down payment assistance. Right. When in fact they don't. Right. And if they don't, then perhaps they can get a better mortgage term for themselves. Absolutely. And so, so it, it kind of goes back to that, that very first beginning of the mortgage journey for a consumer. And that is working with a mortgage professional that knows of all the options that are out there available. Absolutely. No, you are exactly correct. And, and, and consumers um, these days want to know what their options are before actually speaking to one of us 
um, which is why I'm going to toot my horn for just a moment. This is essentially, guys, you hear me often referring to Review My Mortgage, which is the sponsor of this show, but also the largest index of programs. And when we say largest index, we're talking bond loans, grant loans, um, MCC participants, things of that nature based on the county. You can plug in exactly where you're trying to purchase your credit score, um, how much you have or how much you don't have to put down. And it will literally tell you exactly what uh, bond programs, grant programs are available in your area at that time. Um, so I, I toot my horn because that's what the future holds. I mean, you've got lenders all over the place that truly don't know all the nuances that we're going to go over today but will speak it into existence and then the 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 crowd starts to believe it when it's not the actual or there are many nuances to this type Correct. right situation and, and it gets into I, I think it was there's a facebook post that i really really wanted to chime in but i'm trying to hold hold back on mm -hmm. certain things but mm -hmm. but 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 i think of some of your posts that i love mm -hmm. which are always your prove me wrong correct post right and, and 